Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I'm your yarn host Jennifer. Today I am unboxing and showing you guys what I got from the Lion Brand dollar sale. Now the way Lion Brand worded the sale kind of made me giggle because it, it almost seemed like it was trying to bring in Premier Yarn customers because it said create your own mystery box. <laughs> And we all know that I love the mystery bags from Premier Yarn, so it made me giggle, but it did make me take notice because one second the dog came in. Sorry about that, I forgot to lock the door. And if I don't lock the door, that means anybody can come in and I'm not trying to film anybody else right now. Okay, so Lion Brand dollar sale. All the skeins on this specific page were a dollar. And there's still there's still some left as of me recording this video on April 29th. They still had some on their website. So we all know that I like the homespun yarn. I'm probably in very, very little company when it comes to that because I know a lot of people don't like to work with it. But I always use a nine millimeter hook or bigger for it because I just like the drape of it. When, when you use a big hook, it's very, um, it's soft and squishy, but it like, it isn't bulky. It kind of just like, it folds over. And I know I have, I have an example. I should have had all this ready before I started the video, but I'm not one to be super prepared for these videos, as you can probably tell. Um, I believe, I believe this is homespun. And it's just, oh, that smells good. Um, when you put it on, I really like the cowls out of it. See how it kind of just falls it adds a little bit of bulk, but it is just, I and I love the way these feel. I will sleep with one of these around my neck because I just love, I love the way it feels. It's so soft and squishy. And I don't know if you can see, but there are pretty big holes in here. And it just, it's, I, it's beautiful. I love, I love the homespun for cowls. And actually, because I was able to order a bigger supply, I'm going to probably work on something, maybe maybe something that throw, goes around your shoulders like this, or um, maybe the campfire cardigan. Oh, that would be awesome. We'll have to see if I have enough, because I'm a big girl and I take a lot of yarn for my clothes. Um, so, I, I didn't only get homespun. We're going to start with this. This is the Woolies Thick and Quick, and... I don't think I have really worked with this a lot, so my experience is limited, but I really like the colors that were available, and for a dollar, you better believe I'm buying it. It actually took a lot of restraint not to buy more. This is another thing I ordered from a hotel room. <laughs> but, um, actually no, I think I ordered it from my bed. I may have ordered it before we left. But it came, it came the day we were supposed to come home for vacation. So this is in the color Purple Martin, and it's gray with purple. I apologize if you can hear the motor of my camera adjusting for the focus. There's nothing I can really do to fix it except turn the focus off, and then I can't do things like show you up close, because then it's not focusing in and out. And if, if the sound bothers you, I really, really apologize, because it irritates it irritates me. I can't stand it. I'm going to work on this summer probably buying just a film or just a movie camera that's not a film camera so that I can make movies without having to worry about that. Or maybe my husband will finally get me a new phone that I can transfer files to the computer because my phone is crap. It's, um, it's a... I can't even pronounce, sorry, I have in my mouth. Uh, I can't even pronounce the name, it's like Hui Wee or some weird name, it's, it's, a, it's a Chinese phone, and um, 
it, it, it won't plug into my computer to transfer files unless I do something special to it and then sometimes it takes me over an hour just to get it to transfer file. I am not, I'm not interested in doing all that. And most of my videos are filmed when he's not home so I can't borrow my husband's phone to even make videos with his phone. So anyway, back to the yarn because I got totally off track with that one. Okay, so I got four of the Purple Martins. So I'm not sure what I'm going to make with these yet, but I think that these will probably be Christmas gifts for next for Christmas because I work on Christmas gifts all year long just so that when Christmas time comes, I don't want to be stressed out during the holiday season. I hate being stressed out. So I work on these all year. I actually have a really good stockpile already and it's only April, almost May. So I got four of the Purple Martin, right? And so I don't really want to throw these all on the floor, but... And then I got three of the Bluebird. And these are in the bag, so you're probably not going to see real good. But um, it's the same gray, but with blue instead of purple. I hope you can see that. It's really pretty. And then, I love my neon colors. I got Parakeet. And I know you can see the green in that. Look at that. It's the same gray, but it's with green. Neon green. Almost fluorescent green. Yeah, baby. A dollar. This was three dollars. Hello. Love it. And then I got, this is Hometown USA. And I probably should have got more Hometown USA because I actually, I have some on my shelf, but I like Hometown USA. And I think the reason I like it is for the same reason I like the Muir Woods is that I like having yarn that's named after places I've been and so I think it's a neat idea it's not it doesn't have to necessarily be where you're from or where you live but where you've been or places you you like and I like this color and I've actually been here this is Memphis blues and it's blue and gray hopefully that you can see that but, oh can you see can you see so it's blue and gray and it's Memphis, Memphis Blue, and it is 100% acrylic, super bulky, 6. And it requires a 9mm hook. These are 4 ounce balls. The Woolies, which I probably should have told you that, is a 5 ounce ball, 80% acrylic, 20% wool, and super bulky, 6, requires a 9mm hook. Sounds like my son is destroying the house out there. My daughter is watching him though, so she's pretty good to keep him under control. <laughs> Hang on one second. Sorry about that. If you have children, you can relate to the craziness that sometimes comes from <laughs> having children. <laughs> So, anyway, we'll get back to the yarn. The rest is homespun. So if you don't like homespun, you could probably end the video here, but um, I actually really, really like these colors. Let's see if we can get the light in there. This is Corinthian, and it's a bulky five, six ounce ball, 185 yards. This says six and a half millimeter hook, but like I said, if you're going to try homespun, nine millimeter minimum. And I would actually suggest like an 11 because that's what I use and that's, it just makes it easier to see the stitches if you're starting off with this. Um, it, it makes, it makes, and I would, don't do fancy stitches, do single crochet because if you know single crochet, you can feel the holes even if you can't see them. So like, I crochet this back and forth until I get a circle, well, until I get an appropriate length and then I join it, okay? And with the the beast of this yarn, you can't really see the join. Actually, I can't even, here, the join's right here. You can't even see it, right? So, even if you're going along, you can see, you can see where your holes are for your stitches and just count. Do a small number and count. You know, like this, I think maybe 15 stitches across. It may be 20, I'm not gonna count it, but um, 
Just count. Chain one, go into the hole. Go into the next hole. Go into the next hole. Go into the next hole. It's not as difficult as some make it out to be. Big hook. Single crochet. You have a beautiful cowl. It's easy. And it's, look how gorgeous these colors are. Look at that. I mean, how can you not like color? Look at it, it's so pretty. And I got, I got two of these. Two of these. And like I said, those are Corinthian. And I got two of these. These are called gemstone stripes. And it's like gray, pink, and purple stripes. I hope you can see the color of that. It's hard for me to let me move my light over. Oh. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Finally got it. So, yeah, I got two of those. And then, I got three of these. These are called Fiesta. I don't actually gonna crack the bag open. I don't store it in bags. I know I probably should because dust or smells of the house because I cook a lot. So maybe the, the smell of my cooking will leach in here. But most of the time this room is closed off. And I honestly, I would rather be out. I hate looking at plastic. This one is called Fiesta. And uh, I kind of like stuff named Fiesta because my little family has got Mexican in us. And, well, my children and my husband have Mexican. And um, I don't know. I just like celebrating their heritage. I also celebrate my own heritage. But um, so I like buying stuff that reminds me of them or us as a family. And this is lots and lots of colors. It's not quite as colorful as the Corinthian, but it's pretty cool. Actually, I think they may have got these colors wrong. I think this should have been Fiesta because this is more like a party, right? Party, party! This one's a little more muted. But I got three of these. Three, three, three. So I got 20 skeins of yarn from Line Brand for $20. And I believe I used a coupon code. I may not have. I don't have. Oh, yes I do. Invoice. Ta-da, invoice. And it does not say whether I paid shipping or not. I always look to see if there's coupons for free shipping. I may have paid shipping. If I paid, no, I did pay shipping. It was eight dollars. My total was twenty-eight eighty. I remember that because it was a strange number. And when I went to go order more yarn, they upped the price of shipping to nine something, and that's why I didn't order more than twenty skeins because that kind of made me a little bit angry. But twenty skeins for twenty-eight eighty total, not bad. And this. I have never bought used, or I've never bought brand new because I don't like eight dollars for a skinny yarn. I'm cheap. We all know that I'm cheap. I'm I'm frugal. We're not gonna say I'm cheap. I'm frugal. Same goes with this. I don't think I have paid full price for that either. Any of this yarn, as a matter of fact. But I'm pack it back in my box because I have to find room on my shelves. <laughs> but. Not gonna be a problem because I got a blanket project coming up and that's gonna take an entire shelf of my yarn and uh, then I'll have a whole free shelf. So that was my Lion Brand haul. Um, if there's still yarn left over, go check it out. Don't be afraid of the homespun. And if you have any questions on how to use homespun or if you like have a problem or you can email me and I will try to answer it. I mean, I'm not. I'm not a pro. I have really only been crocheting a couple years, but I've worked with homespun enough to know like it's not it's not real hard to work with. It's not as hard as people make it out to be. If you use a big hook and you do a simple stitch that you're used to, you can make beautiful, beautiful projects out of the homespun yarn. Uh, I really like the cowls. I've made them for gifts. My sister loves the homespun cowls. 
and uh, I'm probably gonna make I think I'm gonna make a shawl I, I really think I'm gonna make a shawl out of the yarn and I don't care if I mix up colors because I really I love bold bright colors I like I like being fancy I like being different I do not like making something that looks like a bunch of other people made it I want something that is unique to me and my personality and um yeah so go check out line brand if you uh if they're still doing the dollar I'm pretty sure they are because I checked this morning um, I know they still have homespun and as a matter of fact I was kind of irritated because I ordered this and if you log in onto the computer there is different yarn in the dollar sale than there was on my phone and I learned that by watching Crystal from Bag O'Day and so I logged in on my my computer and they had two different shades of purple which I think they sold out already but they had two different shades of purple in the home spot and I was like I would have ordered those instead or as well because they were so pretty and I put actually put them in my cart and that's when I discovered they raised shipping from one day to the next and I was just on principle alone that they did that I was like yeah no they're not getting an extra dollar and I know it's a dollar and that's probably petty but <laughs> that's how incredibly frugal I am or maybe it's just my principles so yeah well, thank you for joining me for another video as I rambled and my, my thoughts kind of like went all over the place. But thank you and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Click like, click subscribe. Um, hang around. I got more videos coming up. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye.